Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is called Grameen Danon Company in Bangladesh. I met the chairman of Danon in the chance meeting and we were discussing and I suggested to him, why don't we create a Grameen Danon Company in Bangladesh? He said, to do what? I said, to produce yogurt. You said, your yogurt is very delicious. <laughs> I said, for a special purpose. We have a lot of malnourished children in Bangladesh, lots of them, billions of them. We can put all the micronutrients which is missing in the children into the yogurt. Vitamin, iron, zinc, iodine, everything that is missing in the proportion that scientists tell us how it is missing. And then sell it to them. At a price, they buy the snacks, the cheap snacks they buy in the villages and they will eat the yogurt and regain those micronutrients and be healthy. He said, I agree. He shook hands and he said, I agree. I said, I have not finished yet. <laughs> I said, it will be a social business. He said, what is a social business? I explained to him, in this business, social business, you can invest but you cannot take any dividend. You can take all your investment back, recoup all your money, but after you have taken back the last penny, it stops. Company continues to earn profit, but it's not your profit, it's company's profit. Con company continues to expand and reach out to more children because it is driven by the social objective. He again shook hands, he said, I agree. This time I thought he doesn't understand my English. <laughs> But later on, I exchanged emails explaining everything. I said, please confirm if we understand each other. <laughs> he gladly sent me back. He said, I understood every word of it. Let's go ahead and do it. And we created that company. We are selling that yogurt now in Bangladesh, fortified yogurt with all the iron, zinc, and everything that is missing micronutrients. So that is an example of social business.